Hey YouTube, this is Kirk Kaiser. I'm going to be doing a deck profile here for Reverse Break Ride Great Nature. Um, be sure to check out, as I'm going to post later, my deck profile for Non Reverse Great Nature. So you can choose which if you want to play a Defender build or Invader build. Alright, so you get started. Your starting Vanguard is Blackboard Parrot. Uh, this card is really solid. I like it the best of the possible options for a starter. Um, that draw power um, just makes the deck more consistent and gets you to what you need. And then we for our triggers, we have our four vanilla crit and four ruler chameleon. Uh, I would suggest always playing ruler chameleons. Uh, he has a very relevant effect in this deck. Um, yeah, I would never play him over, uh, not play him instead of a, instead playing a four or eight. Vanilla crit, I would always play a chameleon. They're just really good. For draws, we have our four donkeys. Uh, donkey, like, as well, is another example of a trigger who has a fantastic effect. Uh, I'd always play donkey. And then our last four heals. For our grade ones, we have our four duckbill. Uh, duckbill is a fantastic fantastic card. This card is so good. Um, being a 7k boost as well as letting you get a draw off when something retires. This card creates a lot of card advantage as well as being a solid booster. Very good card. Then we have our four cable sheep perfect guards. Um, yeah, perfect guards. <laughs> we have three pencil squire hemiske. Uh, and then we have three Wash Up Raccoon. Wash Up Raccoon is a really, really cool card. Um, it, it does some pretty cool stuff for this deck. Um, you don't usually end up utilizing him till late game. One, for, for one point, uh, early game you don't usually have the stuff in the drop zone that you can activate his skill for the cost. And late game, you want to go through like your other hamsters and stuff, and then you can reload like hamsters and perfect guards back into the deck with his skill. Um, yeah, he's a very good card. Um, and also, I want to point out something people don't always realize uh, you can pay the cost but not resolve the effect in Vanguard. So, even if you didn't have any like raccoons to search for out of your deck you just like had a bunch of them go to a damage zone or something, you could still pay his cost, but not resolve, so you could still put back stuff. Um, yeah, that actually can be relevant sometimes. On to the grade twos. We have our four binocular tiger. Uh, really freaking good card. Pretty much like the best grade two for the clan. Um, he lets you pump up things and then retire them and then trigger their skills. He's obviously a great card. Your opponent will attack this card often just because of how good it is. Then we have our four compass line, our grade two beat stick who also starts retiring things and triggering their skills. Um, having both these cards is very important because they help like outside of the vanguard get things retired and trigger things. And then our last grade two, we're playing four Pencil Knight Hemiske. Um, he's another searcher, which the deck needs, especially like a grade two one. Uh, you pump him up twice in the same turn, he'll be a 16 by himself. Um, so he can make your opponent 10 guard if they're an 11 just by him alone. And we're running four of them just because to have the added more targets to search off of. And then for our grade threes, we have uh, four uh, Chatner, our break ride. Uh, he's a pretty decent break ride. He's not like the best, but he's pretty good. Um, the downsides I would have to say about this card is he kind of slows you down sometimes when you ride him turn three. Um, if you don't have any rear guards that can cause stuff to retire, it can really slow the deck down. Um, you usually want to try and get to your break ride and stuff quicker with this deck. Um, 
this deck because it has to do so much searching to keep the deck consistent as quickly as possible. Sometimes he can slow you down. Um, but when he does go off, he's really good. Um, yeah. And then for our last grade three and last card of the deck, we're playing three, uh, Reverse Leopold. Uh, this card is really good, um, being that he's an 11 for one. Um, and his limit break is really good. Lock one and then give two plus four. They retire, but then you get them right back. So you, and you don't even counter blast for him. So this card is just really good. He lets you trigger your cards without losing anything as well as giving the power-ups. Um, he's a very, very good card. However, again, um, he does have a flaw to him. And the flaw to him is that he's slowish because he's a limit break. And in great nature, you want to try and get momentum building like early game. So when you, if you have to ride him and wait till you have limit break, that can sometimes hurt you. Um, so that's the only complaint I have about the card other than that he's really good. Um, so yeah, that completes this profile. Thank you for watching.